Everyone loves a good tall tale where some dick ends up getting their comeuppance. From the Emperor's new clothes to the tortoise and the hare, there's just something immensely satisfying about watching some boastful prat get taken down a peg. There are many tall tales that have come about centred around railways, such as the LNER B1s being nicknamed Bongos to annoy a railway director, but today I'd like to tell you the tale of an engine driver and how he dealt with some mischievous vandals. The exact date isn't known, but this story took place in the early 1950s in Petswood, London, likely on the former Southern Railway. The area was known to be rather respectful, until one day the 7.34pm passenger train from Charing Cross passed under a bridge. Several boys were stood on the bridge waiting for the train to go by. As it passed under the bridge, they threw stones at it. People aren't sure if they were trying to break the carriage windows or simply try and drop stones down the engine's funnel, but regardless, damage was done to the carriages. Passengers complained, but by the time police had gotten to the bridge, the boys were gone. This continued until one day, while operating the train, a driver was almost hit by a stone dropped by one of the boys. When he stopped at the next station, he didn't report the boys, instead coming up with an ingenious plan. The next time he was to drive the 734 train, he took several shovel loads of slack coal and deposited them in the locomotive's smoke box. He then asked the fireman to drive the engine until they had passed the bridge at Pets Wood, and on his signal, close the regulator. They set off for down the line, and sure enough, the boys were stood on the bridge ready to hurl stones at the passing train. The driver had shut off the engine's injector to increase the boiler pressure and closed the firebox doors to increase the draft through the boiler. Just as they reached the bridge, the driver shouted, NOW, to the fireman. The fireman shut the regulator, causing a sudden blast of air to shoot out the chimney, blasting soot and coal dust out of the smoke box. With the injector off, the pressure in the boiler caused the safety valve to shoot open, spraying hot steam from the top of the engine too. The boys on the bridge were coated in coal dust and blasted with steam. The driver reckoned 220 pounds of steam, lungfuls of smoke and a light scalding was better than a stern talking to from any policeman. Credit to the driver, there were no reports of the boys dropping stones from the bridge again. So what's the moral of the story? Don't throw stones at trains, especially if it can blast you with smoke. Not the greatest saying, but I think you get the point. Whether the story is 100% true or not is still debated, but that doesn't stop it from being a fun little railway tale and an important lesson in karma. Subscribe for more.